Yo, what's going on and welcome back to the Old Smart RTG and to start off today's video, we have a ton of player picks. I thought I'd test my luck with some of the cars that I was wanting to get my hands on do go out of packs on Friday, so it would be awesome if we could pull a Chiesa, a Lukaku even, a 99 Neymar. It would be great, but the Euros are done. Italy champions, England sadly lose, like it's not nice to get knocked out in a penalty shootout, especially when it determines who lifts the trophy. It is a bitter pill to swallow. And I went to Twitter and I gave my thoughts on Southgate and I received a mixed bag back. It wasn't that I wanted to discredit what he's been able to achieve. It's more to do with, is he the right manager to take England forward? Defensively, the way they've set up, world-class. So hard to beat. Maguire, Declan Rice, Luke Shaw, fantastic performances. Pickford as well deserves a mention. Incredible saves. But going forward, they don't have that finesse quality class there is something that's missing from the attack and i do not believe it's the players you've got individual quality there in Grealish, sancho kane i think mancini managing england he would get them playing a lot better and that's when it comes down to the manager southgate not the players so it's a shame because i think that they could offer so much more but it is again still early days and maybe that's what you've got to uh, consider in southgate's defense but you look at not just against Italy, all the other, other games, and it's just getting over the line. There's no real spark, and, and they're lacking something. But Italy, you know, if you go a goal up against them very early on, and they're on the back foot for 15, 20 minutes, that's when you push. You get a second. Otherwise, Mancini being as good as he is, he's going to switch things up. And then since then, they just completely dominated. And they really deserve to win the whole Euros. You look at every single performance quality in the attack defensively strong like unbelievable unstoppable but what are euros incredible goals good performances it was just awesome who is, is your like player of the tournament they gave it to donnarumma i think well with in two penalty shootouts he got them got them the win but does he deserve player of the tournament probably not but anyway let me know in the comments and let's open these player picks if you're enjoying this series thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and maybe some of you guys will uh, disagree, Insigne, there it is. Um, maybe some of you guys will disagree with my opinions towards Southgate, and that's fine, you know, that's football. But let me know, for real, like, do you agree or disagree? Do you think Southgate is going to eventually, like, win something with England? Do you like what you've seen so far? I is it that they need a change up in personnel? What do you believe is lacking from that England team? Luck? You know, is it just unlucky? Or is it the fact that he decided to bring on Saka? Um, he also decided to bring on Rashford and it was Sancho. And they've all going to miss a pen. Like Saka should not be taking the, the, the deciding penalty. E even if he's asked to do it. I don't know. That's a lot of pressure, man. And, and he, the amount of abuse that he's getting is absolutely disgusting. Like you're really going to hurdle him with abuse like that when football is based on a winner and a loser. Someone's going to miss. Someone, someone has to miss, you know, to determine the outcome of the game. So I just think that is such bad form, man, from England fans and just in general, footballing fans, like, they got to grow up. That is disgusting. Anyway, we continue with these player picks. We're needing some juice, EA, if you wouldn't mind. But I gotta say, Chiesa is absolutely phenomenal. He did unfortunately go off. I think someone stood on his foot. But wow, is he so good? The way he can break away with speed, keeps it close to his body, incredible shooting. Bonucci, we're getting all the Italians. Bonucci had a great run as well. What a player. I did like the tactical foul though yesterday from Chiellini. Um, yeah, was was absolutely fantastic. Should have. Oh, I don't know. No, it was a yellow. It was a tactical foul. But Jorginho. I think that he honestly was kind of lucky to be on the pitch. Not just that incident where he put his studs in. He was going for the ball and maybe that's what they saw. But somehow like it, the, the ball sort of like rebounded or his foot deflected and it went on Grealish's like kneecap. That was dangerous. That was a dangerous tackle. So Jorginho was lucky. But did it really mean much when he missed the pen? Like, damn. Pickford he was about to be a hero you know what I mean like if Pickford well he did go and save that and then they go on to win oh my god Pickford gets a statue and he thought what else am I supposed to do like he's already saved like two penalties and then England I don't know they just 
started choking. Do you know what I think it is as well? I think the amount of pressure on England shoulders, and they know what the English are like with, with the whole media and, and the comments on Instagram and just yeah, social media in general. I think they're worried about themselves individually. And that's like, what are people going to say? And that builds up, builds up, builds up. And it just, that's the outcome. You know, it's the, it's the pressure and they just can't handle it. Whereas maybe the other nations, it isn't as bad. I don't know. It just doesn't, I don't know. Like you've got the Germans that are usually very good with penalties. Italy are fantastic. But England, they just seem to bottle it. They do. And it is a shame. Maguire, there he is. What a beast. These player picks haven't really been uh, too great. How many we opened? What, like 16 odds? Damn, come on. Uh, I think we uh, got some serious luck, though, a, a couple of weeks ago. Or maybe last week. Probably was last week. When I opened a few and I got like three FOFs back to back to back. So, yeah, this ain't, this ain't looking too good right now. Van der Beek, come on. Last three. Oof! The big man. Romelu Lukaku, I told you boys. I said that I wanted to pack him. God damn. 97 pace, 98 dribbling, 98 shot. Wow. Well, I can get chemistry with KDB. So I guess we've got a big old Romelu to test out. Absolutely incredible. 99 stats all across the board. Wow. I don't think I ever tried his team. No, I did. I did try his team in the season. I thought it was pretty damn good. So with an improvement there, that is a scary, scary card. There it is, boys. Player picks are worth it. In the end, you keep going, boys. You never give up. Let's go. Jesus. Talk about leaving it late. Big old Romelu. I love that. Oi, let me go and uh, rework my team a little bit. So what we're going to be doing is running the 4-4-2. Hazard, Lukaku up top. Another Belgium in KDB playing as a center mid. Merton, sadly, is going to be subbed out for Locatelli. And then left mid, right mid, Chiesa and Sterling. I think it looks really, really nice. So many Belgians. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't finish my weekly games. It was a little bit late, like after the football. I, I didn't really fancy it. I didn't really fancy like sweating out the matches. Uh, I just thought, all right, we'll take uh, what we've got. And go from there. First game for the big man. Romelu Lukaku against... Oh, God. 98 Acuna. And a little bit of Ronaldo, yeah? Merton's in the middle. He needs to get subbed out. Quick time. Ronaldo? No, I don't think so. Nah, don't, don't, don't think so. Lukaku. Hold it off, Lukaku! It's a steam train. Lukaku already running through. Easy finesse. He was a nuisance, though, to play against. It was, well, when he was first released, I came up against him a few times in foot champs, and every time he ripped me. Lukaku. Lukaku versus Klosterman. Oh, man. You do feel his strength. And on the ball. He's not even that bad with his left stick uh, control. And he's so physical. You ain't going to push him off the ball. You ain't, you ain't bullying Lukaku. I don't even know what he's trying. Hazard. Oof. Interesting animation from Manuel. Hazard. Good control. Oh, no, 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 no. Alive, alive. Keep alive. He is using Phillips. I do like I do rate it, Phillips. He's good. Nothing wrong with him. Sterling. Lukaku. Uh-oh. Oh, man, his finishing is crazy. If you bring him in the right setup, this Romelu will 98 rated. Did we really expect any less from this card? Nearly. That's mine. Well played. One more goal before half time. Lukaku. Hazard. You know where that's going. Okay. Right in his face. Romelu. Three. Three of the best. He is a bit of a nuisance though. Three goals from Lukaku. He really is killing it. Now he doesn't feel exceptional on the ball. But good enough. And what you really want to play for is just the runs in behind. Draw your opponent in, catch him on the break, and Lukaku running. He's so hard to stop. Have you seen the FIFA 22 car designs? The rare golds remind me of like FIFA 10 vibes when they were really shiny. Well, that was my favorite car design because it looked like a proper sticker. And with last year's announcement, I wasn't too like keen on FIFA 21. Now they've grown on me. 
but I really like FIFA 22 and the direction they're going in. It reminds me more of like Football Mobile because they've got some, uh, oh Jesus, they've got some like interesting graphics over there on Football Mobile. So yeah, I prefer them as well. KDB. Oh no. This Acuna seems so nice. 98 rated. Really strong, aggressive. Very, very good to carry the ball. No, it's going to be a goal, definitely. Yeah, it pulled me across. My left back was out of position. There was no way I was going to be able to recover there. Yeah, we went all wrong. We need another goal. And we're probably going to get one right now from kickoff. KDB. Yeah. <laughs> KDB is so much better than his other version. He's so fast and just powerful. He's a really good card. And his finishing, of course, is crazy. Easy goals. Five-star weak foot. Blight work. The guy did well, though, to get back into the game. But we have shut him down straight away. And Lukaku, great position in there. He was about to make a run, but he pulled it back. Oh, damn. That's scrappy. Chiesa. Wonderful. Player of the tournament for me. Or at least one of the best players from Italy. Chiesa. Lovely, lovely, lovely player. Not a bad game. 5-2 in the ends. I just want to have a little look at some of the match highlights. Lukaku in action. Now, this is where you cannot stop him. If you've built up properly and he's on the last man running through, it's game over. He feels so fast and he's finishing. You know what I like about the card? Finesse shots. Really hits him hard, powerful, with great accuracy. He is just a nightmare to play against. Good dribbling from Sterling, though. And then Lukaku on the edge. Bang. Easy. Neuer planted. Uh, third goal to seal the hat trick. What happened here? Oh, it was a rebound. Even that volley, great technique. Probably the defender could have done a little bit better. He did well, though, to get back into the game. But KDB, oh, man. Insane boost with this FOF Summer Stars. Good curve as well. And then you've got Chiesa just to end it off. But it's Lukaku again causing trouble. I tried to do a ball roll, but I was a little bit too late with it. But what a game. GG. So in the end, I forgot to try out Declan Rice. I don't really know how to get him into this team. Like, on oh, good enough chemistry. I get the strong link from Sterling, and... Oh, no, I think that's... Eh, it could be good enough, really. But then Lukaku would be off chem. We'd test him out tomorrow. Like, his stats look very, very nice. But don't get me wrong. Do you know what I was thinking of doing? Is possibly selling Sterling. And not because he's played bad. He feels very quick, as expected. Great dribbling. And when he's in position, I mean, he's going to get goals. But if we use half of those coins to invest into upgrade packs or player picks... To pull that 99 Neymar, would you like to see it? That'd be a dream. To get him on the account with all these other Brazilians? Maybe. But Summer Stars and what it's allowed us to achieve on the RTG has just been mental. Like Phillips that we pulled, uh, Lukaku now, we've pulled De Bruyne. I pulled, uh, did I pull Chiesa in the end? No, 420,000 I bought him for. Edem and Atoa are packed. Like, it's just been incredible. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be back with some more player picks, most likely. And I'm going to try and build a hybrid with Declan Rice. Do you know what I'd like to do? Maybe an England-Belgium hybrid. That could be kind of cool. Like use more of the defensive players from England and then have the attackers be in Belgium. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see. But thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up on today's video. Give me, you guys, your thoughts on uh, the Euros and how you think it went down. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Team out. Peace.